Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back to my channel. Now most of my hairstyle how-tos are big voluminous hairstyles pushed up off my face but I wanted to do something different for you today so it's this hairstyle, big textured fringe with my disconnected undercut. This hairstyle guys is characterised by all this body and movement that I put into the hair and then had the fringe coming down across the face. It's all about the hair products to get this hairstyle and I have put a link to them in the description below but what I'm using is a sea salt spray and this one is by Tony and Guy. I'm then using a hair dryer and that's going to give us that real body and a bit of a wave into the hair and then I'm just fixing it slightly and really defining that movement with a little bit of styling cream and this one's by Paul Mitchell. I had my hair cut four days ago, I got it a zero back and side so clippered in really really short you can see I've got that disconnected undercut and then the top has just been left super long with that longest part coming down to just about my top lip now guys before I get going if you've not yet subscribed to my channel then hit that subscribe button right now guys I've got hair videos grooming videos and loads of men's style videos but here we go I'm gonna show you how to do this one I'm starting with clean and towel dried hair and then grabbing that sea salt spray and we're really going to wet the hair, spritzing all over, working it through with your hands root to tip. And it's a sea salt spray that's going to help to provide that texture and also give the hair movement. Next we're grabbing the hairdryer and guys I would normally go for a medium heat and a very fast speed with a hairdryer but for this style we want to go for a very low heat setting and a very low speed because this is going to take time to get that movement in and we don't want to dry it out. To get this movement into the hair what I've done is actually taken sections of the hair, twisted them almost like little cornrows and then set them with a the hairdryer. So to do this I'm starting from the back of the hair and then working down to the front. The smaller that you do these sections the tighter the curl, if you do bigger sort of sections then the curl will be a lot looser so it depends what you want to do. If you've got fine hair like me then go for those tiny little sections but if you've got slightly thicker hair then go for a looser bigger section. Now these sections don't have to be perfect so we will be messing them up once we've created them but you're just going to twist little bits of hair between your thumb and your index finger and once you've done that you just push them down, grab that hairdryer, again very low heat setting, low speed and blast it right into that section, moving it around slightly. As you get closer to the front make those sections even tighter because that will give it even more movement. Once you've done that and you've created all these little tiny twisty curls into your hair you can put the hairdryer down. Then you're going to work your hands through from back to front just moving it in this sort of wave motion just to break that up. Now I'm styling my hair from my left so from the crown down to the right just because that makes my hair look even longer and it also means that I can work some sort of texture into that crown and make it even bigger on top. Once I've loosened off the curls it's now about setting the style and adding a little bit more definition and getting rid of any of the flyaways. So I'm grabbing that styling cream, I'm using a styling cream because it's really nice and light, just taking an absolutely tiny bit into the hands, warming it up and then again working through from the back down to the front in that sort of wave motion with the hands. You're going to keep on doing this until you're totally happy with the style and then we're going to neaten up the back and side. So again just a tiny little bit of that product onto the hands and brushing at the surface of the hair. You can also do this on the surface of the top just to remove some of those flyaways and neaten it up slightly. And then guys that is it done. You can see that we've got all this body and texture into the hair with that movement coming down from the back of the hair right down across the eye. Then obviously with that styling cream we've just neatened it up slightly and given it a little bit more definition. So there you go guys, something a little bit different and a totally different style for me. It's probably not something I'd wear that often because I do like my hair off my face but it's always good to try something new. If you enjoyed this one and you've not yet pressed subscribe then press subscribe. It's there or it's down there. It's free and it just means you're going to see all my new videos as soon as they go live. But I'm going to see you in my next new one. Bye bye.